Pasate. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, for thou art just in all that thou hast done to us. Please go. The reading is from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. In those days, Paul was determined to sail past Ephesus so that he might not have to spend time in Asia. For he was hastening, if possible, to be at Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost. And from Miletius he sent to Ephesus and called to him the priests of the church. And when they came to him, he said to them, Take heed to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you bishops, to shepherd the church of the Lord and God, which he purchased with his own blood. For I know not that after my departure, ravenous wolves will enter among you, not sparing the flock, and from among your own selves will arise men, speaking per perverse things, to draw away the disciples after them. Therefore remain watchful, remembering that for three years I did not cease to admonish everyone, night and day with tears. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance among all those who are sa sanctified. I coveted no one silver or gold or apparel. You yourselves know that these hands ministered to my necessities and to those who were with me. In all things I have shown you that by such laboring we ought to help the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. And when he had spoken thus, he knelt down on his knees with all of them and prayed. Peace be to thee that readest. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us attend. At that time, Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son may glorify thee, since thou hast given him power over all flesh. Give eternal life to all whom thou hast given him. And this is eternal life, that they know thee and only the true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I glorified thee on earth, having accomplished the work which you gavest me to do. And now, Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I have with thee before all worlds. I have manifest thy name to the men whom thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them to me, and they have kept thy word. Now they know that everything that thou hast given me is from thee, for I have given them the words which thou gavest me. And they have received them and know in truth that I came from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom thou hast given me, for they are thine, all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to thee. Holy Father, keep them in thy name, which thou gavest and given me, 
that they may be one even as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name, which thou hast given me. I have guarded them, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. 